Hello everybody, happy Friday. It's Facebook Friday and I've got some new products to show you today. We've got new online exclusive products that are really, really good. Um, we are actually doing Christmas and fall today. I know I, there's still smoke in the air from the 4th of July fireworks probably, but um, <laughs> that's how I roll. Um, I, I love new products and it gets me excited. So, all right, let me see if you guys are on if i'm in the right place make sure i'm not on mute yep looks like i'm in the right place all right who's here are you guys here tell me you're here i just we got back from vacation last sunday it was a wonderful trip we went to california we did sequoia national park and king's canyon they're two national parks but they're one it's weird uh we did um yosemite and we did Lake Tahoe. And those of you in California have a new love and respect for California. The last time we went to California, we did San Diego area. And I was like, oh, you know, but wow, that whole mountain range, the Sierra Nevada mountain range is gorgeous. If you haven't been there, you need to go. It's amazing. Um, but we're back and uh, I have new things to show you. So uh, thanks for your patience. I actually, <laughs> I actually had made some products to post on my blog. I'm not seeing any comments. What's going on? Oh, there. I see them over here. Okay. Um, I actually made some projects. I had things to post on my blog. And then, like, service was almost un, like, attainable. Even at our um, VRBOs that we were staying in, it was very spotty. And then the photos that I took were something was wrong with them. So I was like, well, okay, I guess we're not going to post anything while we're gone. So I felt kind of bad about that, but oh, well, that's the way it goes. I mean, life goes on, right? Um, but I'm glad you guys are here with me. Have you taken a look at the online exclusives? Have you looked at them? Denise, Denise lives down the street from me. She says Tahoe is on her list. Denise, I'm telling you, especially in our heat here, to go somewhere where the high is like 78. Oh my God, it was so good. It was warm, the sun was hot, the water was ice cold and the breeze was cool and it was heaven. Last summer, after last summer's heat, I swore that I would not go on a summer vacation to somewhere that's warm, that I would go somewhere that was cool and we definitely achieved that. We all bought new sweatshirts while we were gone. We took sweatshirts with us, but we bought new sweatshirts too. Um, it was beautiful. Okay. Have you guys looked at the online exclusives? I'm gonna turn you around and I'm gonna show you some things. We've got some things to show you. Let's try to get you guys flipped around. Does anybody on here live in the Tahoe area? Um, it was just quite magical, I will tell you. Quite magical for me. I mean, you know, when you, are, you grow up somewhere, new things are amazing, but this was, and that Sequoia National Park, I have to tell you, that, that was our 20th, 19th and 20th National Park that we've been to. And Sequoia is top five for me, for sure. Yosemite is amazing, but it's very, very crowded. Um, you have to take shuttles and, um, you know, I, I, that kind of took away from the experience for me, I guess. But uh, that Sequoia National Park is gorgeous. So, and... Funny enough, the day we drove out of Sequoia to go to Yosemite, there was a big storm. I think, Sandy, you, you said that was there in your area, I think. And there was lightning, really crazy lightning. Well, it started a fire. And that road that we were on that we left Sequoia from actually closed down the next day. So it was crazy. Luckily, we were gone by the time all that started. But scary. Those fires, man. We saw fires in the distance a, a lot. Um, and every place we went there was talk of you know fire awareness fire preparation fire safety like it was in everything so i'm sorry you guys have to live with that as a constant threat that is scary okay online exclusives so online exclusive simply means you can only get it online that's the exclusive part okay there's no like Thing you have to join it's not for just demonstrators I heard somebody say that the other day and I was like oh no this this just means exclusively online um, so I want to show you guys where they're at let's see hopefully you guys I know the lights weird when you log on to the Stampin Up website this is like a rolling banner here and one of the pictures right here literally if you click on that it's gonna take you there but if that's not there like maybe in a month or so 
I want to show you these three lines right here. You click on those shop products. And then if you scroll down, there's a whole section called online exclusives. And this um, whole slew of online products, well, well, yeah, I mean, I would say 90% of them are like fall and winter related, okay? Um, first two are our two new kits. So those are online exclusives too. Um, there's two new kits that are really cute. But uh, I wanna scroll down. We've got iconic imagery, which we're gonna use today. Uh, this sophisticated sled is really good. I definitely will be using that. Potions and spells, hello, Halloween. I can't wait to play with that. that I need to pull that out. I may be playing with that next week. Then lots of Christmas things, some great paper. These two, no, not that one. This one, Seasons of Green and Gold, is going to be our Club Create kit in August. I have to think, what month are we on? It's for August, okay? So Christmas, you'll get a uh, jumpstart on your cards in August. Um, there's a train, this paper also in Club Create. These little clear, oh, my TV just came on. What? What? Why would it do that? Hold on. That's so weird. Okay. It has never done that before. It won't mute. Okay, there. Ah, that, is a, that is a new one. Anyway, these new little embellishments, lots of bundles, um, lots of just different things, some stamp sets. There's some new paper exclusively, new ribbon, really good new basic ribbon, uh, white and vanilla. So, again, those three dots, shop products, and online exclusives. Okay. Now, the thing they tell us about the online exclusives is they're while supplies last, basically. Like, keep that in mind. Some of them will be restocked and some of them will not. And they don't tell us. You know, I, we've been having, since the pandemic, everybody's had inventory issues. So I think this is just kind of a way to keep a handle on expectations for, um, you know, inventory. Um, the things that will not be restocked, I, yeah, I don't know. There's no rhyme or reason. Just know that if you see something there to grab it. Um, we've had things sell out in the past, and then we've had things that are still there from several releases ago. So just take a look at it. I know that it's kind of hard in the summer to think about the holidays, but for me, it's kind of a nice escape down here in the heat, kind of a nice escape to think about the holidays and fall especially. So take a look, lots of things. Oh, 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 I forgot to, I keep forgetting the glass mat. You guys remember the glass mat that came out during celebration? Um, now you can purchase it, okay? It's $60, it's the glass mat, the uh, really cool little uh, chamois, and then that silicone mat. Okay, so check those out again in online exclusives. Um, Becky, you're having fires in Oregon and Washington. You know, what's really funny, I said to my husband while we were there in California, we are surrounded by a national, I'm not a national park, a state park. There's, I mean, lots of dry brush here. Why don't we have big fires like California? Is it the wind that you guys have that causes those fires? Like, what is it? The dense forest? I mean, we have a lot of dry brush because it's so dry here. I just, I don't know why we don't suffer here in Texas like you guys do in California. I mean, they were like everywhere. I looked at the fire map and I mean, they are just everywhere. It's crazy. Anyway, I know, different story. And then who who commented on the rain? Let me see, Lori. Okay, Lori says you should be getting rain soon. Lori, Again, you know, I'm a weather obsessed. I was like, I'm not even going to pay attention to this hurricane because it never comes. It never comes. And they tell us it's going to come. But, you know, obsessively, I'm watching the, the weather channel and checking the, the weather online. And it was looking good. It was looking good. And then today they're like, oh, it might go further to the uh, east towards the coast, like when it comes up. So I'm like, Ugh. I mean, if that hurricane could come here and follow the right path, it could fill up our lake. So, you know, I would really like for that to happen. But it just, it's like there's like a dome around us and the rain always goes around and doesn't go over us. So, yeah, please, let's, come on, Hurricane Barrel, please come to us. Okay, I know some people are like, are you crazy? I'm like, yes, we need our lakes to fill up. All right, next, <laughs> next topic. 
Um, Club Create, that you have two days left to subscribe to this month's Club Create. This is one of the most beautiful kits I think I've ever designed. It's not me. It's the products. The paper is stunning. If you've ever been to the Mediterranean or to Greece, um, this will take you back right away. This month's club is $45, includes about $25 in product. Um, you get um, consumable products, okay? So if you already have the bundle, don't worry. I'm not sending you the bundle. I'm sending you consumable products. <coughs> Excuse me. Paper, uh, linen thread, and dots. And then you'll have a lot left over to make even more cards. Now, if you don't have the bundle, you also have the opportunity to add that onto your kit at a discount, okay? I The discount is that I'm paying your tax and shipping on it. Um, and I will add that to your kit. Now, Club Create is a subscription kit. You can stay for one month if you want. You're like, Erica, this is the only one I want. Then that's fine. You can cancel after one month. If you want to stick around, like next month, get, get a jump start on your Christmas cards. You can. It'll continue. PayPal will continue to charge you on the day that you subscribed. Or if you stay for six months, you get a $25 club credit to, to order something from the catalog, like, a, um, like rewards, club rewards. Now, if you're in my club create and this is your sixth month, and you didn't get an email from me, please email me because something really weird happened this month when I sent out the email to everyone who's getting their club rewards. Everybody with a, with, it seemed like everybody with a Gmail or a Yahoo blocked my email. So I resent it and it looked like it went through, but I'm not sure. So if you are in Club Create and you think that this is your sixth month and you're like, why didn't you email me? Please email me. <laughs> Okay. And if you email me, you don't hear back from me, give me 48 hours. If you don't hear back from me, email me again. Cause something is going on with the emails. I don't know. I complain about it all the time. If you would like to subscribe about to club create, there is a tab at the top of my blog that says club create. There is a tab, uh, su subscription link there. There's a link to the PDF. Also club create always includes a video and a PDF. I don't do a video for all my classes, but I always do a video for club create. Um, and that is available for purchase too. If you don't want the kit and you just want the PDF and video, that's available too. You can scroll down that page. You'll also see all my past Club Create kits. Oh, 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 I have something to tell you too. This is, July is our four year anniversary for Club Create. And I have something very special that's going in July Club Create kits. I'm super excited about it. So just know you guys are going to get an extra special little goodie this month. Okay, that's that. The other subscription I have, I hate trying to differentiate these. These are two different programs, okay? This is the All Star Video Class Tutorial PDF. Me and these other amazing 11, oh, where's the picture? Well, it's not here. 11 other amazing global demonstrators. We are a group of designers and every month we each design one project using one of the suites, okay? We do this every single month. And this PDF, I send it to everyone who spends $50 or more with me online each month. You get it for free. Now, you can, it's always, these are always available in my PDF store for $15. They include the links to the video. So the, the, um, PDF has measurements and photos and a link to each video tutorial. Now, if you're, if you don't shop with me, maybe you have another, you have your own demonstrator or maybe you are a demonstrator, but you really like the tutorials. We open the subscription for this twice a year, July and January. And when you subscribe, you pay for five months and you get six months. Okay, so you're gonna get one for free. You can subscribe and have PayPal charge you once a month, $15 for five months, or you can pay for it all up front, $75, and that'd be six months of PDFs. I email them on the first at about 9 a.m. every month to my subscribers, and they have them. Uh, this month, again, Full of Life is the suite that we're doing, and you know, this paper is amazing. It's very artsy. Um, and so in my mind, it was like, what kind of treat would we use to go with this? Well, how about some Stampin' Blends? Do you have crafty friends? You could make, give them a little set of Stampin' Blends. Wouldn't that make a nice little gift? My daughter and my mom are both professional art. Well, my daughter's a college student getting a degree 
in paint, painting, fine arts. But she'll be a professional artist. Well, she is. I mean, she's actually being paid right now. She's being paid $9,000 to paint a mural at a gym in Waco. So she's officially professional, right? So she and my mom are professional artists, and they both love our alcohol markers. They're, they're not stampers, but they do love our alcohol markers. So our stamp and blends make a great gift for everybody. And thank you for commenting on my nails. In the summer, I like to get the colors that make me look even more tan. <laughs> so that's my tan color. It looks good, right, with, with this? I know, thank you, thank you. Um, so anyway, subscription. If you would like to subscribe to this, there's a whole blog post about it at pinkbuggeroo.com. Today's PDF also has the link for that. Um, if you don't wanna subscribe, it is available in my PDF store right now for a one-time purchase also of $15, all right? So look how cute, I mean, Somebody, Catherine, who was it who emailed me today and or commented on Facebook that said, you guys knocked it out of the park with this one. They're, they're so great. Thank you. I, it's the products. The products are beautiful, so it makes it easy. All right, so subscription, July and January, the only two months that you can subscribe. Um, if you are a PDF purchaser, this is a great deal for you. If you're a shopper with me, I'm going to send it to you if you spend $50 or more. All right. That is that. Oh, hey, paper pumpkin for this month. What is it called? Life is sweet. I just put this one together and it really is very sweet. Cherries, peaches, and lemons. Um, I have a couple extra if you need a paper pumpkin. If you missed the deadline this month or maybe your car <laughs> didn't go through, I always laugh. I would say there's somebody who emails me that said their car, car got um, compromised and their paper pumpkin subscription failed and they didn't get it. Guess what? That was me this month. Not for my paper pumpkin, but my card and my daughter's card both got compromised this month. Two separate banks even. So uh, it happens to all of us and sometimes we miss out on a kit. So if you need a kit, please let me know. This kit um, has nine cards, some beautiful envelopes to go with it. It has the spot and the stamp set. You get a little package of the pearls, the linen thread, and then a little um, thing to make your own little stamp set or whatever. So that is that. Email me, please. You guys, email. I try to keep all my business questions, everything in my email. If you have, if you're trying to run a business through Facebook Messenger, texting, email, it's too much. So everything needs to go to my email, please. Okay, Erica at pinkbuckaroo.com is my email address. Um, if you want one of these, email me. Okay. All right, there's that. Your card got compromised too. Oh, so annoying, isn't it? Oh, so annoying. Because then you have to, you have to be like, okay, what bills are automatically paid with this card? Because you don't want to go delinquent on your bills. So then I, you know, you're like racking your brain. Okay, who do I need to call and tell them I have a new card? It's so annoying. Um, it's bonus days. Ooh, I need to tell you something else too. I don't want to forget. Okay. I'll tell you, I'm gonna have my BOGO sale at the end of the month. I am hoping by the end of the month to reach my $2 million in sales. It's a big deal. My goal is July 31st. I have to push myself a little bit. So that's why I'm gonna do BOGO at the end of the month. Um, I've started organizing, cleaning, photographing, doing all that. So there'll be an online BOGO sale at the end of the month. So if you like BOGO sales, Stay tuned, okay? That leads into this. This month, also when you shop, you get a $5 coupon to spend in August. And they're cumulative. So if you spend um, $50, you get a $5 coupon. If you spent $150, you get $15 in coupons. And then you can stack them in August. You, know, you can use all of them on one order. Um, if you've been around and you have kids, Jim Bucks, this always reminds me of Jim Bucks when we would shop at Jim Bury for our kids' clothes. I loved Jim Bucks. I was like, ugh, obsessed with Jim Bucks when my girls were little. So this always reminds me of that. I'm a sucker for a coupon. So just know that you're going to get rewarded this month. Um, not only are you going to get my all-star PDF for free if you spend $50, but you're going to get that coupon too. Okay, so that is that. I'll remind you all of July. That's it. I think that's all I have to tell you. Um, if you haven't gone to my blog, has anybody checked it? Is it up? Um, 
I almost forgot. I did some of it yesterday on the 4th of July while, I, <laughs> while we were watching a movie in the evening. And then I had to finish it up this morning and then finish it up right before we went on. So hopefully it is up. Pinkbuckguru.com. There's a blog post. It has all three projects with direct links to... I knew, Trisha. I knew you would check for me. Good. Thank you. It has videos, individual recordings of the projects I'm going to do today as well. This free PDF that has measurements and supplies and the things that we just talked about. Um, if you like today's projects and you would like me to send you a kit uh, to make them, um, if you spend $35 or more by Monday at midnight using this host code, I will send them to you for free next week. Here's the host code too. It's listed on my blog. I'll update the video with the host code too in case you need to find it. $35 is the minimum order by Monday at midnight, okay? Um, <laughs> thank you, Trisha. I do appreciate that. They look like this. You will need the stamps and dies. I don't do any pre-stamping for you. That's a no-no in the Stampin' Up! world. It's against policy. So you have to do your own stamping, um, but I will send you the paper, the ribbon, embellishments, all those things that you need to make your projects. Um, okay, last but not least is prizes. This time I went to YouTube to pick a winner, Linda Thomas. Thank you for sharing my video. Um, Linda, I feel like I do have your mailing address. However, Linda Thomas feels like a pretty common name. So if, why don't you just email me if you're Linda and I know what your YouTube name is. <laughs> I know it's you. Um, email me your address so I can send you the sketch butterfly bundle. Thanks for sharing my, my video. I appreciate it. This week I'm going to give away, I have an extra paper share, six by six paper share of all the new paper from the annual catalog. Um, so if you would like to win this, Please share the video on YouTube or Facebook and I'll pick a winner next week. Next week, we're going to do another online exclusive. There's a new bundle. Um, I knew I was going to forget what it's called. Frosted trees. It, it's a whole bundle that has a mask, uh, like to mask the different layers of the tree. It has the stamps and the die and it is stunning. So that's what we're going to do next week, okay? Uh, moving on from summer. No, not really. Just for the next couple of weeks. We'll do some non-summer things. Okay, we're ready. Let me get a drink of Diet Coke and then we'll get started. Okay, now, <laughs> powered by Diet Coke. That's me. Powered by Diet Coke and today peanut butter M&Ms. Man, those things are good. I'm crooked and I can't stand it. Let me see if I can fix it. Hold on. There's a, there's a delay, so I never know which way to turn it. I feel like I turned it the wrong way. Let's see. Let's do this. It's just one of those things. There we go. That's better, right? Okay. Frosted something, right? Frosted forest. Thank you, Patricia. It, we're going to do fall trees and winter trees next week. That, that mask was like, <gasps> like, I, like I gasped when I was done with that last layer. It makes those trees look amazing. I, it wasn't really on my radar, but I was trying to make some things for my blog. And then I was like, hold up. We need to do a whole Facebook Friday on this. It's beautiful. Okay, our first card is a pocket card. And it looks like I have made a mess with my white ink on here. Darn it. Um, we're going to make a little pocket to go in. Look at this paper, you guys. You had to know, if you know me, when you saw this pumpkin paper in this stack that I was going to go crazy. Of course. It's so, so cute. Let me show you the paper stack. It's six by six and it, it runs the gamut, okay? You've got Christmas, you've got Christmas again, candy canes, champagne, that could be for New Year's. You know, I need to tilt my camera a little bit. Acorns, and there's that polka dot we're gonna use too, right? Didn't we use the polka dot? Yeah, we did on the back of the, that card. Um, hello, we're gonna use that one too. You know, I love the plaid. Um, stripes. I've got another card using this for you on Monday. Some fireworks. Birthday candles. We're also going to use that. Snowflakes. Another delicious plaid. Those pumpkins. A little dove. Christmas. And more birthday stuff. So I was thinking about people maybe who are just starting to stamp. Um, this would make an excellent bundle suite for you to purchase. The paper and the, the stamps and dies. Because really you could do a lot of things. But then I kind of laughed because I am the opposite of beginner and I love it. So, I mean, really, it could go for all of us, all of us. Here are the stamps, some two-step stamping, and then the dies. And this label right here is fabulous. We're going to use that a couple times too. Okay, well, let's get started then. Um, I'm also using this die and I can't get it 
picked up with my darn fingernails off this tray. This is called the Keeping Tabs die. It's a single die. It also comes in the punch form. So you can buy, if you prefer the die, you can buy the die. If you prefer the punch, you can buy the punch. I'm always torn because a punch is easy. You know, like if you're sitting down, you can just grab it and punch. With the die, you have to stand up, get your machine, layer it up. However, the die the storage is so much easier with the die. It's smaller. So I don't know. Uh, I'm torn. I like, I like them both. I like them both. Okay, let's do our stamping. And then I'll show you the card. We're going to do um, the leaf. I feel like I'm missing. I am missing a color. Where is my Cajun Craze? Let me grab it. We're going to use Cajun Craze. I know some of you don't like Cajun Craze, but it is a necessary fall color, I think. I think it's pretty necessary. You need a burnt orange for the fall. The paper stack, Lori, is called Iconic Celebrations, and it's in that online exclusive section of the website. All right, I'm using very vanilla, okay? I don't think this is very vanilla in this paper, but it looked, well, yeah, it is. I don't know, it's one of those that goes kind of in between basic white and very vanilla, so I chose very vanilla. All right, we're gonna first stamp, and you know what, I need some scratch paper. We're gonna first stamp this leaf, the outline image, okay? Outline image twice in Cajun Craze. And then you're gonna take that fill-in image. I just can't get this right to, let me zoom in a little bit. Then you're gonna take the fill-in image and stamp off Cajun Craze again, and then you just stamp on top. Stamp off and stamp. And they, they're, they're easy to line up. It's not difficult at all, okay? Um, okay, I know that plaid is gorgeous, so pretty. Um, now the next one, um, actually we're not, those are the only, oh, we need three. What am I thinking? We need three. You know, here in San Antonio, we have leaves this color at Christmas time. <laughs> That's when our leaves change colors, at Christmas time. And then they come back in February. Our leaves turn green again, the trees bud in January. I mean, in February, it's really ridiculous. Our seasons are not very long at all here. All right, now we're gonna do this little branch in Memento, and then we're gonna stamp the, the fill-in, again, that fill-in image. I think I'll do the Daffodil Delight first. I'm not gonna stamp off the Daffodil Delight because it's already pretty light. The reason you need to stamp off is because, what am I gonna do next, Old Olive, is because it's too dark if you don't. So stamp off a layer and it's light. Yes, Very Vanilla is still available. What's not available is Very Vanilla Thick. So for those card bases. Sadly, I don't know why. I mean, ew. I I wanted to use that for a card base and I was like, well, shoot, we can't use it. Okay, so now you're gonna cut these out with a matching die. And look, I've already worked out ahead of time. I will tell you that this set does take a while um, when you're playing with it because you do have to use your dies to cut these things out, okay? Um, you need two of these Cajun, Cajun Craze branches and then a very vanilla heart right here, okay? All right, we're gonna stamp the sentiment. Funny story, when I was <laughs> making this video, I had gotten out the four or the U, one of them, but I hadn't gone out the other. So I paused and I went and to get the other one out. And then when I came back, the one that I had gotten out was gone. I, I mean, I couldn't find it. I tore the place up looking for it. Then I realized I have this little folder that's plaid, black and white plaid. When I need to edit my videos, I set that folder on the table. So that when I'm editing and I see that folder, I know that I need to like splice out that section. Well, it, the, the stamp was stuck on the bottom of that folder and it took me like 10 minutes to find it. <laughs> oh God, I was so annoyed with myself. Um, embossing Buddy, you wanna use that to remove any of your static cling that's holding on to those granules in places you don't want them. And I'm gonna stamp for you 
and craft white. And then I don't know if you guys know, but we have new embossing powders. They're wow embossing powders. I'm guessing that's a, that's a brand of embossing powders. It's not stamping up. Um, so if you are interested in trying these new embossing powders, you gotta check them out. Um, they're pretty good. I like them. All right, so sprinkle your embossing powder on there. Grab your heat tool. Somewhere in this mess, I have a heat tool. Yeah, Trisha, thank goodness for dyes, right? No fuzzy cutting today, yay! Hi, Nicole. Yeah, I, I like it. It's the first one I grabbed out of the, the pre-order that I did. I think it's, this set is really, really versatile. Um, I think you can do a lot of things with it. And when I show you my bonus cards today, uh, one of them uses a lot of little things. So I'll show you that. Um, you can, you know, you can do a lot with it or you can keep it simple. All right, so that was pecan pie. And I just cannot get this camera right today. Um, that was pecan pie, craft white ink. And we are going to, if I can locate the dice, we're going to use... This other long label. No, no, are we using the long label? We're using the short label. There's a short label and a long label. And we're gonna cut that out. Okay. I do have a funny story to tell you guys. Oops, about our trip. It involves a bear. I will tell you in just a little while when we, um, when I'm doing something that takes a long time. I'll tell you that story, so stay tuned. I mean, what is it with me and animals and insects? I mean, come on. We're just like a natural magnet for them. Crazy. Those of you that live in areas with, where you have bears, do you, do you live like on alert all the time? Are you like always like ready, you know, for a bear to be around the corner? My friend Angie McKay, you know, she lives in Canada and she says that it's not really even a big deal. They're just, you know, like, okay, you watch out for them, but that's it. Like, you know, me, I, every time I walked outside in California, I was like, where's the bear? Is there a bear? Oh my God, there's a bear. So I don't know. Um, very vanilla label. I stamped the big grateful in Cajun craze. The bear uh, that I'm going to tell you about said to itself, look, there's some dumb tourists from Texas. They don't know what they're doing. So we're gonna keep our eye on them. That's what they said. That's what one of them said. And I mean, he proved us right. He proved himself right, that we were dumb tourists. Okay, get your, your leaves and put them on there like that. Then get your stems and put your stems, kind of arrange them so that you can see them. All right, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna put my dimensionals on top. Black bears in Wisconsin, they generally stay away unless they have cubs. Yes, um, they hear us long before we see them. Yes, okay, that's yes. But in my mind, they're scarier than that and they're just waiting for me to come out. <laughs> I know that's not right, but I don't know, they, they freak me out. They freak me out. I guess it's what you're used to, you know? Okay, this one, this is not gonna work here. We're gonna have to move this down because we don't want it to cover up the grateful. Okay, so here's what happened. I'll just go ahead and tell you. Everywhere we went, there were signs about bears. Everything I read said, don't leave your food out. Don't leave food in your car. Bears, you know, I was even reading to the girls. If, bear, if a bear says backpack, it knows that that is food. It's a food source. Like the national parks don't wanna have to shoot a bear, but they've had to because stupid tourists feed them. And then once you feed them, it's like a no, like the bear becomes aggressive and wants to eat your human food. And then that's when trouble starts. Um, this very vanilla heart, we're gonna put right here on this tab. So we were, we were staying at VRBO. We were not camping, wasn't worried about that. We went to Sequoia. We saw a, did we see? Yeah, we saw a bear in Sequoia. Was it, no, so, yeah, this is Sequoia. We we're very excited. We were in our car. We stopped, took pictures, very excited. Cajun craze, four and a fourth by five and a half, you guys. We're gonna put a piece of DSP on here. 
And then we're gonna take this one, the one with the pumpkins, and you just wanna fold down that corner like that. There's no right or wrong, just fold it down. You can do it a little bit, you can do it a lot, whatever you wanna do. So then when we got to Lake Tahoe, uh, my daughter's obsessed with the Kardashians, and she informed us that the Kardashians had had, they had gone to Lake Tahoe, and they had had a bear um, all over their porch. There were bear prints. And then um, when we were in one of the little stores the first day we got there, my husband asked the store about bears. And she said, oh, yeah, bears are, are a major problem here. And we were like, ooh, wow, okay, wow. So we get to the VRBO. We're tired. It was like a six-hour drive from where we'd been. Clean out the car. And we did have food. We took it inside. Um whatever went to bed that night my husband got up early it was cold so he wanted to go outside i'm going to put a dimensional on the back of this just to hold it down see how i put adhesive just on the three sides to make that pocket okay and he said when he went out oh did i stamp that on the wrong piece i think i did i did that the first time too okay we're going to pretend like i didn't stamp on that okay this is a little the little card that we're gonna put right here. This giant piece was for my stamping. And you wanna adhere this like this. So when he opened the door, he saw that the pass the two passenger doors, the front and the back, were open. And he was like, oh my God, somebody broke into our car. And then out popped a bear. <laughs> there was a bear inside the car. And my kids had left a sleeve of club crackers and a can of Pringles and a juice box in the car. And the bear had um, taken his little paw and opened the door, no problem. Climbed to the back, opened the back door. I don't know if he opened it from the back or the front. He got his muddy paws all over my husband's sweatshirt and my visor, a blanket that was in the back. <laughs> I mean, you guys, I my husband didn't even wake me up. The bear ran off. My husband got pictures. Before I'd even woken up, he had posted on Facebook. And I ran downstairs as soon as I saw it. And I was like, oh my God, did he destroy the car? No, he didn't. He just made it muddy and ate all the crackers and made me feel like the stupid tourist from Texas that we were. I mean, that bear's paws had to go under that latch and pull it and open it. I mean, holy cow, holy cow, crazy, right? So crazy. So that's our bear story from Lake Tahoe. <laughs> this little card on the inside, we're gonna just stamp these leaves again to carry over that pattern. Um, I, I literally, my reaction was more of embarrassment because I mean, how many times did we read and see, do not leave food in your car, you know, like dummies. I mean, we, I didn't even think about checking it. Um, the next day we left the door locked. I'm using the little, like, it's not confetti. Maybe it is confetti. Maybe it's a confetti image. And I'm stamping off each time before I stamp it on here. The next day we locked the car the next night. And when we got up in the morning, there were, he had come back. They were muddy. Like you could see the bare paw prints and nose prints all over the car. Crazy, right? Crazy, crazy, crazy. Um, bear School 101, is it really, <laughs> Patricia? She says, opening doors is Bear School 101. Well, yeah. I The thing that I was a little bit worried about, look how cute, see how it slides in there? Oh, I forgot the, the linen thread bow. We gotta put a bow in there. The thing that I thought about later is if he had gotten in there and the door had closed behind him, Opening that door from the inside would have been a lot more difficult. And that's probably when the damage would have been done, I would think. When he's like, holy cow, I can't get out of here. Now I'm just going to start breaking things and ripping things. Um, I, you know, you, you see those videos, pictures online where people's cars have been like ripped to shreds. And I'm like, the only thing I could think was, oh God, I declined the extra insurance at the car rental. But luckily... It was fine. And my middle daughter is so, like, she loves cleanliness. And she was like, don't worry. I will take care of it. She got the vacuum from the VRBO and went out there and vacuumed it. You would never know there had been a bear in that car. 
<laughs> so funny. Okay, you guys, there's your card and a bear story to go along with it. Um, grateful. The, there's two big words in this uh, set. You have grateful and then the really big one, celebrate, that we'll use next. And those I feel like can go, I mean, yes, I made it a fall card, but it didn't necessarily have to be a fall card. Okay, there you go. If you want to make that a gift card holder, just put a strip of paper across the bottom and make that a pocket and you can stick your gift card in there like that. Okay? All right. I hope you guys like this. I think it's pretty cute. I think this is my favorite one. Okay, so there's that. Let me clean up a little bit and we'll do the next one. Let's see, I don't need Cajun Craze. We're done with fall for now. We're never done with fall, but we're done with it for today. Not a drink of Diet Coke. Did, do any of you have a funny bear story to share? You had a bear when you went to girls camp right outside our tent, Brittany, that's scary. Um, his bear is probably like tasty, tasty little girls in the cabin. Um, yeah, why was the car not locked? Trisha, I mean, it's a rental. There wasn't anything in it. You know, I mean, whatever. I mean, I guess. Well, now we learned our lesson, right? What's the worst thing that could happen? <laughs> a, a bear could get in your car. That's the worst thing that could happen. Um, okay, next up is a shaker card. That was really the first thing I thought of when I saw all these little cute dies and images. So we're gonna make a Christmas shaker. And I always say, you know, a shaker card is a card you send to someone you really like. Because it's kind of a lot of work. And you don't wanna make these your official Christmas cards. <laughs> um, because you would, well, if you do, you could better start now. Because they, they you know, they're gonna take a while. Um, we're gonna use the tree, and we're gonna use the tree several ways, okay? The die for the tree actually will cut out the stamped tree. It'll cut out this tree right here from the designer series paper. And then it'll cut out just a solid tree, which we're gonna do too. Um, we're gonna start with Old Olive, which I left here. And again, you probably just need like five or six of them, okay? So just stamp, you know, a collection. And then you're gonna stamp off again, Old Olive, stamp off, stamp on, stamp off, stamp on. Do that, cut them out with this die right here. And then, of course, I did it all ahead of time because that we would be here forever if I cut those out on video. I've cut out several of the designer series paper trees. They're really cute. Um, then I use the die also to cut out some old olive glimmer trees. Um, we have a glimmer pack of paper that is old olive, uh, berry burst, and white. So those are really good colors. Um, so I cut a bunch of those out. Here are stamped trees, okay? Um, I cut out more than we need, really. I mean, you probably only need four or five that looks like a cut, but it is not. That is Cajun craze. You probably only need four or five of each. The thing about um, a shaker is that if you fill it, like this one, the first one, it's not moving around too much because those are all stuck. So, you know, less is more here, right? I'm not good with less is more, um, but I'm telling you, here in this situation, Less is definitely more. I'm trying to get my paper picked up. All right, I'm gonna use, we've gotta make the window. And I've got Old Olive. My cut and emboss machine has run away. I've got an Old Olive four by five and a fourth inch piece of cardstock. And then I've got this, um, this die, Everyday Details. Now, you guys, it has a lot of dots. And do you see how there's all those dots still in there? Well, you can use your die brush, but if you take it and you do this, a lot of them will drop out, especially if you do it on the floor. <laughs> All right, so I just throw it around until most of them come out, and then I'm lazy, and so then I just put it on, on here like that. I know, I'm just, I'm kind of lazy and kind of messy, and that's just how we roll here. So we're gonna put that on like this, okay? 
I'm using tape because I want to make sure it's centered and it stays in the right place. And the clear plate is right here. Run that through. The, the die has holes on the negative space and on the rectangle that's cut it out. So when I take this out, you're gonna have this little window piece. Well, I didn't turn it right. No, it didn't cut right. Um, you're gonna have this piece, save that for, for something else, okay? Turn your die this way. When you cut, the longest edge should go in like this because it is in there longer. It gives more pressure. Um, if you go like this, these only have like boop, boop, pressure. But if you put it like this, it goes boop, 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 has more. So that's why you saw just now it didn't cut all the way through right there. All right. So then here's your dye brush and your foam. And you can see how many you can get out. But really, I usually just take my take your pick tool and just poke them out real quick. Okay. And look, you could even use all of that in your shaker card if you wanted to. Um, Mary, it's funny you say that. She says, this looks like a die set you need many of. And I would agree. I actually ordered two of them um, because it does make cutting out all those little images faster. Um, so if you really like this set and you plan on doing things like this, um, two dies sets would behoove you. I love that word, behoove you. All right. There we go. Okay. Now we got all the dots. I know, whatever. <laughs> I know. You're like, Erica, use the dye brush the first time. Get them all out. Ah. All right. Window sheet. Yes. Window sheets are something that Stampin' Up! sells. Um, they are in our catalog. There, I put them on the supply list today. You get two 12 by 12 pieces for, I think it's $5. Um, and it's really good acetate. All right. Put that on. I always like to make it smaller, that just like a, a quarter inch smaller. That way I don't have to worry about lining it up perfectly. All right, so you've got that. Stick that down. Then get your foam adhesive strips. I'm gonna get a new set. I've been using the heck out of these things lately for things that aren't shaker cards. They're good for a lot of things. Long and skinny uh, banners. I like to use them for that. All right, so we're gonna create this space for our shakers. And we've gotta keep this on the outside of our dots because we don't want the dots, we don't want this foam to be shown through the dots, okay? So put it on the outside, but don't put it so far out. If you put your foam strips on the edge, then your shaker items are gonna get stuck down here and they're gonna be hidden behind this thick frame. So try to keep the little cage for your shaker pieces as close to the shape or the size of the opening as possible. All right, so get that on there. Then here is the most crucial part. You've gotta have full contact right here. You gotta seal those you know, edges so that the, the stuff doesn't fall out because one of mine already is falling out because I didn't do this very well. And because it's humid in here and everything's falling apart. But make sure you get those edges. There's no little, cause we're gonna put some little things in there too that'll fall out. Okay, so now we have that. We're gonna take some of our stamped trees and we're just gonna lay them down like this. Then I'll get some of these DSP trees and lay them down, upside down. Some of our glimmer trees. I feel like I'm already doing too much. I'm already filling it up, okay? Then I've cut out some gold foil stars. This is another little die in this set. Gold foil stars. Ooh, ooh, you're sharing your bear encounters. Okay, Lori says, my first bear encounter was in Arkansas. He stood up to cross the street. As I was approaching a curb, I totally froze. Stopped the car and my brain was telling me to grab the camera. I couldn't move. So funny to think about it. He decided not to cross the street. Yeah, he was like, oh, this lady, something's wrong with her. Got back on all fours and went back into the woods. The only photos I have of the moment are in my head. Wow, that's crazy. 
Crazy, crazy. They're, they're smart, apparently. Marcia says, we encountered bears many times living in Michigan's Upper Peninsula after hiking or picking wild berries. I had, oh, he was like, berries? They're picking them for me. I had a 70-year-old lady friend who was picking wild raspberries. She stepped up on what she thought was, no, on a mound of dirt. Turned out to be a bear that was sleeping in the raspberry bramble. She screamed, bear ran off, scary and funny. That is a crazy story, Marcia. Holy cow. She stepped on what she thought was a mound of dirt, and it was a bear. Okay, that makes me feel better. <laughs> Honestly, that just makes me feel a little bit better about, you know, like, okay, if you live in the area and you still make those mistakes like that, then I'm not going to feel so bad about our, our dumb bear mistake. That's really, really funny. Really funny. Oh my God. I bet she tells that story all the time. Okay. These are called, well, let me show you. These are called champagne iridescent dots. I'm going to sprinkle a few of them in there. Now here comes the tricky part. Okay. Here's a piece of that paper, and we're going to just lay this on top like this. This one I also try to cut a little bit smaller than the green piece, so that I don't have to worry about getting it perfectly lined up. And it seems like I didn't do that, so let me just trim it. So you can just set it on there like that. The tricky part is pulling off the adhesive without flipping everything out. The reason I don't peel the adhesive off first is because inevitably every time I get something, one of these little like dot things stuck in the adhesive and then as I'm trying to pick it out, everything goes flying. So I always wait to do the adhesive at the very end. All right, lay your paper carefully down and then seal it. Yes, Colleen, you're right. Six pointed stars, I agree. But they also look good in here. You know, a little gold, little gold. Because it doesn't necessarily say Christmas. It says celebrate the season, right? So, you know, could go either way, in my opinion. Okay, now um, we're gonna use celebrate and we're gonna, we're gonna stamp celebrate with cherry cobbler. Last time my cherry cobbler saw the light of day was last Christmas. It's the only time I think I ever use it. Celebrate. I'm going to do it up a little bit higher, like that, towards the top of the label. And then I'm going to take the season. And I'm going to, where did we put the white? Did I put it back over here? No, I didn't. So that means it's just under my mess somewhere. Oh, here it is. Okay. Do you, does y'all's white crafting, is it a mess like mine is? I feel like mine's always... My ink is always on the outside where it shouldn't be. And then it's on my fingers and then it gets on the paper. Ay, ay, ay. All right. Thanks for sharing, Jean. I appreciate it. Hi, Anita. No worries. Um, okay, the season. Celebrate the season. Okay. Little embossing powder. Um, if you are new or maybe you don't, you haven't embossed before, we have this. Um, this embossing additions kit that I did not put on the uh, supply list, but we have it online in the store. It's the tray, it's the embossing buddy, there's a little reverse tweezers that I can never seem to find, and a little paintbrush that helps you get any of the extra granules off. So, you know, it's a nice, it's a nice thing to purchase. Um, to go, to make, it makes your embossing a little bit easier. Oh, I missed another story. Kimberly, what did Kimberly say? My dad chased a bear that stole our cooler. It, it stole a cooler in Yellowstone. The bear was eating our food on the run. That bear was shoveling in his mouth, probably like, I gotta get this. She, he's not gonna get it back from me. Oh my gosh, that's really funny. That is really, really funny. So bears are, they are smart, it seems like. They are smart. I just have never encountered a bear, ever. We don't have them here. And I'm just, I'm bear ignorant. <laughs> I'm bear ignorant. Now, scorpions, I could tell you a lot about. Snakes, you know, I could tell you a lot about snakes. We also are having a 
horse fly problem. Do you guys have horse flies where you are? And the funny thing is, is they love my husband. I mean, love him. They come out like around dusk. Well, not just us. That just seems to be the time when they get him the most. And they're larger flies and they bite. And he was in the pool all the way up to his chin, right? Everything was in the water. And he was swatting them away. You know, I didn't, I didn't cut this the first time with a label, but it, why not? That's all right. We'll do it. Um, and he was like, they were like buzzing the tower, as he says, buzzing, buzzing, buzzing all his head. And he was like, you know what? This is crazy. I'm getting out of here. He stood up and he got bit four times. One, two, three, and then the other arm. Boom, boom, boom. Bit him. Oh, so awful. They, well, I don't want to say it. I must not taste as delicious as he does. I'll just say that. But it makes me paranoid now that I'm out, when I'm out there, and I, you know, we have wasps that come to the pool for water, and I hear them, and I'm like, oh, God, I don't want to get bit. Him and my oldest daughter are the sweet ones. That's why I tell them. Y'all are just super sweet. They love you. Um, dimensionals on this. Um. You, Brittany, you get scared of wildlife. You know, my husband is a big hunter. I've been hunting a lot. I don't feel like I'm necessarily scared of wildlife here. But bears is a whole new thing. Um, another story. When we moved in this house, uh, not really a story, just, just an observation. When we moved in this house last year, I wanted some cactus. There was beautiful cactus around San Antonio. I wanted a big, just a big cluster of cactus that bloom in the spring. And I got, you can actually order cactus petals off Etsy. And I ordered two different kinds. I planted them. One's doing okay. The other one, it grew like seven or eight petals already. Paddles, paddles. And um, I was loving it. I'm so excited about it. Well, something ate it. I went out there, I had two of them. I went out there and the, the smaller one that hadn't been doing as well was ripped to shreds and one of the paddles was out in the street. Denise, are you still here? What's eating it? The other one was still looking good. I'm like, okay, okay. Well, while we were gone, it was ripped to shreds, literally like shredded. We Googled it and it's either a rabbit, a coyote, or a javelina. That's what the, that's what the Google said. I'm taking these little champagne dots that we put on the inside and I put them on the outside too. Okay, I mean, who eats a cactus? It's a spineless cactus, but it does still have some prickly things on it. Oh, I don't know. My husband is like, I'm gonna get a, a trail cam, put it out there, find out who did it. I'm like, well, it's gone now. Yeah, I have a lot of creature stories, Gail. I do, out here in the wild, wild west. Um, my daughter's in Alaska. She's moose on. She saw moose on base by her house in the neighborhood, bears also. We would love to see a moose. And my husband is not scared of anything, but he said a moose you gotta be really careful of because they are very big and aggressive. He goes like once a year, he goes either to Montana or Colorado, him and my brother, and they go out in the back country and camp and sleep on the ground and um, hike and hunt for like a week. And he says that's the one thing that really kind of freaks him out, or the, the moose, or the, the bears, too. Okay, I'm going to put a piece of white inside, and then we're done. A moose is a, I would, gosh, I would love to see a moose in real life. In Alaska, you probably see them a lot more. Um, my friend was at my house the, day, the other day doing our bug control and sent me a photo of a snake next to my foundation. Mary, no, she said, I met your friend. I'd never seen that type of snake. What kind of snake was it, Mary? You've seen moose well in Colorado. Are they, Gail? They're huge. He told me one night they were kind of walking through. He had his like night vision goggles on or whatever they are. And he said he looked over and there were eyes. And he, he said, oh God, like he thought it was a, a big moose or animal or something. He took it, took them off and it was like a fox or something. I don't know. But he said his heart like stopped. Okay, there you go. A shaker card for Christmas or or whatever. You know, whatever. Celebrate the season. You could totally change this and put fall leaves in here. Do the same thing with those leaves. 
or the snowflakes, right? Possibilities are endless. I mean, truly, they truly are. Okay, I have one more, and it's already three o'clock. Okay, one more. It's not gonna take us as long. It is a treat box, okay? I found a new little Debbie snack. Trisha, I found a new one. And they are birthday cake cream pies. They look like a moon pie. Okay, thanks, Lori. I'm glad you liked it. Um, they look like little moon pies. Have you guys seen these? They look cuter on the box. When I pulled the first one out, it had no sprinkles on it. And I was like, hey, these look better than that first one. Yeah, they look better. Okay, so anyway, a cute little birthday treat. And I always say, make up some treats to keep in your desk at work. That way, when it's somebody's birthday, it'll look like you planned ahead and you pull it out and be like, hi, it was your birthday, happy birthday. Like you made it for them, okay? Okay, <laughs> that's my tip. I don't work in an office anymore, so, you know, whatever. But I do keep them around for my kids to give their friends and their teachers. All right, now this one, we're gonna use the little candles, but let's make the box first. I have a little template because honestly, I was like, the second time I went to make it, I couldn't remember what I was doing. So I made a template. Um, my simply board is right here. You're gonna need an eight and a half by, let's look at the notes. Eight and a half by 10 boho blue cardstock. I chose boho blue and moody mauve because those are the colors in the paper. Um, let's do the long side first. Three and a half, four and three fourths, eight and a fourth, and nine and a half. Turn it to the short side and score it at one and a fourth, four and a fourth, and five and a half, okay? Now, let me, I didn't even show you. This box opens like this. It's a belly, it has a belly band, okay? And it opens like this. Now, let's imagine this on this, this box. Um, the, this on the long side, this one and a fourth, I believe, piece is the bottom, the one on the outside edge is the bottom part of your box. Do you know how to turn that light back around? Yeah, maybe that's a little bit better. Okay, so then the one in the middle is the top of your box. Now there are some squares on the either side of that one. So just imagine that, okay? Um, let me get my pencil. We're gonna cut off this one and this one, okay? We're gonna cut off this one and we're gonna cut off this one and this one and this one right here, okay? Now I know you're like, whoa, what in the heck are you doing, what? In a minute, when I'm done cutting, I'm gonna lay it down. And if you make this box, you come back and you pause the video and you can, um, you'll be able to, you know, it'll make more sense to you because you'll have your paper in front of you. So burnish the lines before you start cutting. It's just easier because you can get them all done in one little swoop like that. Okay, whoa. Did you guys have a nice 4th of July? I mean, 4th of July to me means summer is halfway over. I know it's not really, but because at the end of July, beginning of August, school things start. Practices and shopping and all the things. So to me, 4th of July is the halfway point. All right. I like to use my bigger scissors when I'm making a box like this because I feel like I can get a straighter cut. You can also use your trimmer to do that. Um, oh, this one right here, make sure, really try to line your scissors up on the inside of that score line. I don't always do that. Like this one, it looks like I was just kind of on the outside. If you go in right down the middle of that score line, things line up so much better. All right, back to our X's. This one we're gonna cut off right here. And then over here, we're just gonna cut this one. And I'm gonna cut this at an angle because this is the tab that's gonna be glued all the way behind the opposite end. I forgot to mark this one. We're gonna cut this one off too. Now there is an individual recording of each of these projects over on YouTube, 
probably, if you come back to watch the replay, it'll be easier to watch those, um, especially for the box. All right, now for these, we wanna cut from the long side down. That way they will be attached to the box and not attached to the lid. I like the flaps being attached to the box rather than the lid. All right, now all I have to do is just snip these lines and we are ready to go. All right, just snip it, snip it. Has anybody tasted these? I am gonna ban myself from tasting any more new things because you know what happens. I taste it, I like it, and then I continue to eat all of them in the box. And that's not cool. I can't do that anymore. I really need to stop that. Okay, there you go. There's your box, all right? If you pause the video while you're watching the replay, then there you go, okay? Um, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> y'all, that's my daughter right there trolling me, Addie Sirwin. She is a troll, so just ignore her. <laughs> she was on my video one other time, and she came home from school and said she saw me, she was commenting, and I said, I didn't see your comments. It's because I had to approve her to join my group. So now she's approved. So there she is. She's not really a troll. I love her very much. She's actually my employee this summer, right, Addie? I'm paying her really well to do some work for me to do jobs right now. She's working on a project for me, probably right this second. And let me tell you, she's my third born and she, <laughs> she um, is a negotiator. So I will tell her, okay, this job's gonna, I'm gonna pay you this much or I'm gonna pay you this much an hour. And then, and then the negotiations begin. She's like, well, if I do it fast, will you pay me more? If I do it by this? <laughs> oh, and she's playing darts. She said, oh, you finished it already. Oh, see, she's fast. She is fast. She's not a troll. I love her very much. I was just kidding. She likes to troll me is what I meant. Um, okay, I put adhesive on this little die. I mean, this little tab right here. And you're going to fold it over like that and fold this over like that. And there's your box. All right, the bottom. She's a, she's a good helper. She is 15 um, and she wants a job. So, you know, 15, I feel like it's that summer. Hold on. Sides, back, and then the front, okay? 15 is that summer, right before you get a driver's license and you feel kind of stuck right? You want to be going and doing things, but you can't. You don't have your license yet. And her sister got a job at 15 and not because we made her. They just, they like money is what it is. They want money. Um, and she has been trying, we've been trying to find her job, but so far nothing has materialized. And the problem when you have a job when you're 15 is that your mom has to drive you there. I put, did I put adhesive on that side? No. Okay. And then your mom gets grumpy because she has to drive you to take you and then drive to pick you up. But so I am, I'm employing her that way. I don't have to drive her anywhere. <laughs> um, this paper is really cute. It, uh, the candles and the confetti, and they're both the same size, three and three eighths by two and seven eighths. All right. Put your little Debbie snack in there. Addie also likes to come in and sample my treats. She knows exactly where I store them. She introduced me to Mr. Beast's chocolate bars. I don't, I don't think we've done anything with Mr. Beast's chocolate bars, but we're gonna. Mr. Beast makes some delicious chocolate bars. Um, this is a one and a fourth, did I put this? Yeah, one and a fourth by 11 on mi of Misty Moonlight cardstock. We're gonna make a belly band. You just wanna wrap it around and pinch the corners as you go, okay? And then just put adhesive on the end right and fold it over and adhere it to itself so that it slides okay now we've got the same label again and we're going to stamp that celebrate but this time we're going to do it in bogo blue to match our box whoops and this is that spotlight on nature circle set that i love and i cut it from Moody Mauve. And you know, Moody Mauve is a color that I haven't used very much. It kind of reminds me of the 80s and 90s. I'm kind of like, eh. But when I play, when I play with it, when I use it, I'm always like, why don't I use this color more? It really is pretty. So 
like a dusty rose pink. I'm gonna stamp these little um, hearts all over in Moody Mauve as well. Okay, just to create some interest. Now for the candles, you're gonna stamp them. Where are they? Right here. You're gonna stamp that outline first in full strength, okay? Full strength, two times for the Moody Mauve. And then take the outline image and stamp off and then stamp on. Stamp off, stamp on. Stamp off, stamp on. And then we're gonna clean it. And you need one more from Boho Blue. So this again is another place that would be awesome if you had two sets of the dies with cutting these out. Okay, so three candles is what you need. You also, again, I already cut them out ahead of time to save us time, and I have them right here. Um, the other thing you're gonna wanna cut out is, hopefully, hopefully I have enough dimensional backings. Man, they're everywhere. Um, these little teeny tiny candle flames. All right, you see those? Those are cut from um, peach pie glimmer paper. And we're just gonna glue those on to our candles. Uh, also a Misty Moonlight Heart. Oh, it's getting warm in here. Let's turn down the air. All right, just a teeny tiny dot of glue. I can never just do a teeny tiny dot. Just a teeny, teeny, tiny dot. Oh, that was like the opposite of a teeny, tiny dot. I have to wipe that off. Okay. Let's wipe that off on the scratch piece. Then get your, take your pick tool. It will help you get these on much easier <laughs> to grab onto. I like that. Oh, goodness. All right, and then the last thing I'm gonna do before I put it together is get some Wink of Stella and just brush that heart, to make it shiny and sparkly. Okay, now, dimensionals are here somewhere in this pile on my desk right here. Um, you know, Michelle, it, it is a color that was not at the top of my list. But it looks really good here. You know, it's just you got we gotta find Moody. We gotta find the right place for Moody Mauve. It has it does have its place, for sure. But you know, I'm a brights girl, so I always, I always gravitate to the bright bold colors. They used to be called the bright bolds, didn't they? Bold bright bold brights. When I first started my. 15 year Stampin' Up! anniversary is coming up July, July 9th, 15th? I don't know, I have to look. I had to look it up uh, recently. 15 years, Addie was just a baby when I joined Stampin' Up! She was a itty bitty baby and she was so, she was so, oh, I do need the U. <laughs> I do need the U. Thank you. I forgot that. Well, now that I have put um, my dimensionals, yeah, I think I can do it. You know, that means I left it off of this box. Look. You know, I read your sentence several times in my head. Erica, you still need you. And I was like, what? Huh? And then I realized you is in quote, is in quote. So thank you. Who, who told me that? Let me see. Eleanor, thank you. Okay, let's see. Can I do it? Celebrate you. Yes, I did it. Uh-oh, I did that to my ink pad too. I'm gonna have to clean that up. Okay, thank you, thank you. All right, so now, here's some of this new ribbon I was telling you guys about. It's frayed edge, and you know, a, a good white ribbon is, is like a staple. You know, it's like a staple in your craft room. White ribbon is a necessity, and we've got several new white or vanilla ribbons for you online the vanilla like satin ribbon very very pretty and this one's just really good just a you know can go with anything all right so tie that around the belly band and then take 
your dimensionals. Put them right there and set that right there and ta-da! Now you can tell your coworker, look, I made you a birthday treat. Celebrate you. Let's see, can I stamp it on this one too? It's already on there, can I do it? Yes, I did it! Okay, what do you guys think? That's the third project. We are done, but I do have two bonus projects to show you. Um, let me move these out of the way for a second. Uh, one of them was on my blog yesterday, and it's this one. And I did not design this card. It is a sample on the Stamping Up website, and I loved it. So sometimes you get my creative juices flowing, I case a card. Um, kind of takes the thinking out of it, but it also kind of gets you familiar with the product, the stamp set. So I did this one and I really loved it. Use almost all the images, the holiday images. So anyway, really pretty. Um, it's got that plaid paper too and like that ribbon right there that we just used. And I added some of the paper on the inside. And then on the opposite end of the spectrum, more simple is this card. All right, now this embossing folder right here is not available yet. It was available to demonstrators in a pre-order for um, a thing that we did cre called Creativity Now, and it will be available in the fall catalog. Um, but it's like a birch, a big birch uh, embossing folder. But I just did the leaves, Cajun Craze, Pecan Pie, and Old Olive, and real simple, and look at that new. This is an online exclusive too. This twine, it comes in a three pack green, blue, and this Cajun craze color. I don't know what the other two official names are. All right, that I'll have on my blog on Monday. Okay, so there we go. We are done. Here are our three projects. I hope you like them. I know, 4th of July was yesterday, and here I am with your holiday projects, but, you know, whatever. You can never start too soon, right? Thanks for joining me. Thank you, Gail. I appreciate that. Um, next week, we'll be doing the Frosted Forest um masking okay the masking is really really cool in this set so hope you'll join me next week two o'clock i'll see you then and remember if you would like me to send you these as a make and take kit uh, make sure your orders are in by monday at midnight you can order anything you want as long as it's 35 dollars and uses this week's host code all right you guys have a great weekend bye